Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hard West with me, Bring It Dawn. Uh, so I tried this mission once already. Our main character got killed, so I had to restart, and that's why we're here. Uh, the masked man might not die easily, but you'd make sure he paid for his sins. There were some armed oil workers on your way, but your eyes kept scouting for the masked man. This mission would be a lot easier had I rescued that one guy from that bank robbery mission. I selected the knight option. Assuming that I would set up something at night and then still enter into combat, but that's not what happened. Take this guy out. Since I'm pretty sure Warren is the only one that can one shot a six health enemy. 69 and 67, but he gets two shots with this one. Four and fifty-four. Also a coin. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but not bad either. So there's an enemy standing right there. Um, I'm not gonna send Warren after him. I might send this guy. Go see what's going on. A little risky. He has a ton of health, so I'm not that worried about it. All right, he should be able to one-shot this guy. I'm going to send you I guess over here the Doors of the house flew open the masked man's best gun hands showed up. Well, that's no good. Uh, let's send a guy, I guess, right here. A lot of enemies. <laughs> oh, there's a guy right behind him. That's not good. do it Four damage on that guy. Um, I mean, this is a guaranteed hit, and it's one less person shooting at us in the next turn. So let's take care of her. 
then you need to do something about this guy. I don't know if there's anything I can make you do about that guy, actually. That is almost perfect. Except that it's not. In fact, I think he dies this turn. Okay, reload and we'll go to bullet one of the eight health enemies. That will clear things out a little bit. And have him reload his Lancaster. sure this guy's not in cover in relation to my, my protagonist I can one shot anybody, so <laughs> just keep doing that, I guess. Alright, time to use a little healing. Yeah, I mean, they need to ricochet off of. Sixty-seven. I guess we'll be taking that shot. Well, I guess he burned through all of his usefulness. He took out that... No, he didn't take out that lady on the tower, did he? He's landed one shot this entire fight. <laughs> Uh, pretty good odds of killing this guy. But not perfect odds. A 
we're gonna golden bullet her next turn. I think she's the only enemy that does two damage to us when we're behind full cover. And she has the most health, so she is hands down the the biggest threat on the map right now. And she needs to go. Those are pretty good odds. Unless we have to worry about, if I get him to flank. Either way, he doesn't have five damage to kill this guy with, so there's no reason to really flank, is it? <laughs> Finally. Masked man appeared, as good as dead. Reload and heal. I mean, pretty good odds across the board. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. I think he's the one that keeps hitting us. And then it's probably worth flanking this guy if we don't get killed. And it's very likely that we do. All right. He has a lot of health. He's a really good shot. Not a fan of that. He's also just standing out in the open. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take that. Thirty-nine and thirty-three. Gonna reload this, and we'll shoot with the chain rifle. Trying to 
trying to draw some aggro. That guy's landing every shot. I mean, good for him, I guess. We're gonna kill the masked man this turn anyway. Nope, we don't have enough luck. Shoot. Coin toss. I definitely have to reposition him, I'm just not sure where to put him. He lands every shot. Very impressive. I'll end up regretting this as well. Darn, it's really hoping to take out that guy. We can survive another shot from the uh never misses guy. <laughs> so what is that guy on? All right, we finished off the Masked Man here with the Golden Bullet. In the end, the man who sported the mask now sported a big bloody hole in his forehead instead. All right, heal up, make sure he stays alive. I wish I knew what that guy was using. <laughs> Hits him off. I think he's missed one shot this entire time. Golden bullet. That's when you heard the familiar voice in your ear. It wasn't over yet. Florence's soul wasn't yet gone. She was trapped in purgatory and could still be saved. Right, so I'm a little disappointed with that scenario. 
I should have gotten that third star. And because we didn't fight it out at the bank robbery, the bank heist, uh, we were short three kills to get the other reward. In fact, I don't even know what the other reward is. <laughs> I've never gotten it. All right, so we're going to backtrack to In Gold We Trust, because it connects to this. A hot-blooded young adventurer hears fantastic tales of a lost city of gold and plots an expedition to the heart of the jungle. Unfathomable wealth and eternal glory are within reach. What price is he willing to pay for them? Combat injuries and heart. Alvaro Vasquez sought fortune, fame, and adventure. So when an ambitious inquisitor told him a Mayan legend about a lost and mysterious city of gold, he listened carefully. Such a find would cement his place in history and make him a very wealthy man. Vain as he was, he believed it was his destiny. But word of the expedition spread quickly and the undertaking was in peril before it even began. Hired thugs captured Vasquez and his companions. They tortured the Inquisitor, hoping he would reveal the location of the city. Having evaded capture, it was up to Alvaro Vasquez to save his companions. Vasquez broke free, but found himself alone and outgunned. His associates needed help. The best way to give it to them was to acquire as much firepower as possible. So we get the better weapons first, uh, then we can rescue Diego and then Zacharias. There's the Inquisitor. didn't feel so defenseless anymore. I don't know which way that guy's facing, so I'm gonna try and... I'm willing to bet he's facing this way. No, he's facing that way. Good thing I didn't go that way. <laughs> Vasquez freed his old friend, Diego. Two more of Vasquez's companions still needed his help. So we can probably split up and rescue both companions at the same time. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. No, it doesn't want us to rescue the Inquisitor yet. We have to get Zacharias, and then I'm hoping 
we initiate combat. They don't just kill the Inquisitor right off the bat. I don't remember this scenario very well. As his mentor, Senor Zacharias, thanked him for liberating him. The enemy still held one of his men captive. Alright, this should be easy. I'm gonna leave uh, Diego here to keep this guy subdued. Make our way towards Cervantes. We don't have six health, we can't one shot him. Otherwise, I'd probably. Open up by killing everybody, but we don't have the firepower for it. Cervantes, but the Inquisitor was badly wounded. The crew was determined to drive all the bandits from the camp. Well, that changes things a little bit. Um... Keep him subdued, and we need to find cover and start taking everybody out, it looks like. Alright, uh, I guess we'll get started. Did I realize he had, uh, La, Fort La Fortuna? That is eight damage per shot. It is very good. A good place for him to be standing. I 
very good odds of hitting this guy. Um, run up here. Great odds. That coin toss that we kill him. I him right up here. We know there's a guy right there. Um, what we can do here. All right, so this flank is secure now. I gotta do something. Come right up there, get ready for next turn. There's only six enemies left. Ow. Assuming we can take out the guy that just exposed himself over here. Only five enemies left. Best shot we're gonna get. Alright, this is a little risky. I should have just ricocheted. Some more enemies than I thought they were. Really? He can't see this guy? Well, I disagree. I 
I do disagree. Healing over time, I'll gladly take that. I'll keep him in the fight. Inquisitor, you just need to pull back and stay alive. It's hits a 30%, but not the 64%. I'm pretty sure this guy is still standing over here as well. One less to worry about. I'm listening to Diego to hold the line until we clean up over there, and that can send everybody over there to help him out. One step at a time. Oh, that is two damage, just not worth using. Hold the line, buddy. Got this. And you are going to flank. Start trying to flank this guy. peek around that corner so probably stand right here in the open and hope that I kill this guy <laughs> 65 and 64 Yeah, they had three health. There they are. That range is crazy.
Oh, the line of sight. Disappointing. I think he can dart out right here, though. And finish him off. If he didn't have to reload. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Okay, we're doing fine. Really need the Inquisitor and the old man to finish off that last guy. <laughs> we're in the clear. There we go. One health. Come on now. Vasquez went on an adventure that had consequences no one could have foreseen. The camp would make an excellent, if temporary, home base. They would need to secure some manpower and supplies to keep them fed. Unfortunately, Inquisitor Cervantes was in no shape to accompany them. They left him behind, hoping he would still be breathing when they returned. All right, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next episode, we'll begin this scenario properly. Hire some manpower and acquire some provisions. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.